For today's video, we are going to talk about how to solve problems involving fractions, decimals, and percent, and we are going to explain everything in details. On the first example, Darwin missed 7 questions on a 20-item quiz. What part of the quiz did he get correctly? The first thing that we are going to do is to find the number of questions he answered correctly. Since there are 20 item quiz and he missed 7 questions, let us have 20 minus 7 and that is 13. And to find the number of part of quiz did he get correctly, let us have 13 over 20 and this will be our answer. And if you want to write your answer in percentage, let us have 13 divide by 20 and that is 0. 0 times 20 is 0. Let us subtract. 13 minus 0 is 13. Let us add decimal point and let us add 0. Let us bring down 0. 130 divided by 20, that is 6. And 6 times 20 is 120. 130 minus 120, that is 10. Let us add another 0. We are going to have 100 divided by 20, that is 5. And 5 times 20 is 100. And this is 0. Since we have 0 0.65, let us move two decimal places to the right, 1, 2, and that is 65%. On example number 2, a 12% VAT is added to all items brought from all the business establishments like supermarkets, drugstores, restaurants, etc. If an item costs 125 pesos before the tax is added, how much will a customer pay for the item? To determine how much the customer pay for the item, let us have 125 pesos, that is the item cost before the tax is added, plus 12% of the item cost, that is 125 times 12%. So let us have 125 plus 125, and let us convert 12% into decimal, it will give us 0 0.12. So let us rewrite 125 and let us multiply this one. Let us have 125 times 0 0.12. 2 multiplied by 5, that is 10. Let us add 1. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 and that is 5. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. And 1 times 1 is 1. Let us add let us have 0, 5 plus 5, that is 10, carry 1, 1 plus 2 plus 2, that is 5, and let us bring down 1. Since we have two decimal places, we are going to move two decimal places to the left, 1, 2, and that is 15. So 12% of 125 is 15. So let us have 125 plus 15, that is 140 pesos. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, Gladys got 7 over 8 of the questions correct in a battery of examinations for a field manager. What is the decimal form of this fraction? Since we have 7 over 8, let us divide this one to convert into decimal. Let us have 7 divided by 8 and that is 0. 0 times 8 is 0. 7 minus 0 is 7. Let us add decimal point. Let us add 0. Let us bring down 0. 70 divided by 8, and that is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. 70 minus 64, that is 6. Let us add another 0. Let us bring down 0. 60 divided by 8, and that is 7. 7 times 8, that is 56. And then, 60 minus 56, that is 4. Let us add another 0. Let us have 40 divided by 8, and that is 5. So 5 times 8, that is 40, and this is 0. So 7 over 8 in decimal, that is 0 0.875, and this will be our answer. On example number 4, there are 40 students in a class. 18 of these students are male. What percent of the class are female? To determine the percentage of female in a class, since there are 40 students and 18 of these students are male, let us determine first the number of female students. So let us have 40 minus the number of male students, that is 18. 
40 minus 18, that is 22. And these are the number of female in a class. So let us have 22 over the total number of students in a class, that is 40. Since 22 and 40 are divisible by 2, let us write this one as 11 over 20. And to write 11 over 20 into percentage, let us divide this one. 11 divided by 20, that is 0. 0 times 20 is 0. 11 minus 0 is 11. Let us add decimal point. Let us add 0. Let us bring down 0. 110 divided by 20 is 5. 5 times 20 is 100. And 110 minus 100, that is 10. Let us add another 0. 100 divided by 20, that is 5. And 5 times 20 is 100, and this is 0. 11 over 20 in decimal, that is 0 0.55. So to convert into percentage, let us move two decimal places to the right. It will give us 55%, and this will be our answer. On example number 5, every passenger in any domestic flight of an airline is allowed 20 kilograms of luggage for free. However, the excess baggage costs 200 pesos per kilogram. If a person has 26.3 kilograms of luggage, how much extra will this person pay? Since the person has 26.3 kilograms of luggage and 20 kilograms of that luggage is for free, let us determine first the number of excess baggage. So let us have 26.3 minus 20, it will give us 6.3. And for every kilogram of extra baggage, that is 200 pesos per kilogram. So let us multiply 6.3 times 200. 200 multiplied by 6.3. So let us multiply 3 times 0, that is 0. 3 times 2, that is 6. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 2, that is 12. Let us add. Let us bring down 0. Then we have 0. Then 6 plus 0 is 6. And then let us bring down 12. Since we have one decimal place, let us write our decimal point here. So 6.3 multiplied by 200, that is 1,200. 60 pesos so the person pays 1260 pesos for 26.3 kilograms of luggage and this will be our answer on example number six ruel a realtor sold 77 units from the 300 unit condominium building in makati city what part of the 300 unit was sold by ruel and what part was not sold by ruel since Ruel sold 77 units out of 300 units of the condominium building in Makati City, the part was sold by Ruel that is 77 over 300. And to determine what part was not sold by Ruel, let us have 300 minus 77, that is 223. So 223 over 300 that is the part was not sold by Ruel. on example number seven a convenience store made a survey on the beverages customers usually buy 20 out of 50 customers prepared cola express this in decimal form since we have 20 out of 50 to write this one in fraction that is 20 over 50 20 over 50 can be written in simplest form because they are divisible by 10, and that is 2 over 5. To write 2 over 5 into decimal, let us have 2 divided by 5, and that is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. Let us add decimal point. Let us add 0. Let us bring down 0. 20 divided by 5, that is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. And that is 0. So 2 over 5 in decimal, that is 0 0.4 or 0 0.40. And this will be our answer. On example number 8, Donna, an editor of publishing, has edited 3 over 8 of a business book. What decimal has she completed? Since we have a fraction that is 3 over 8, 
To convert this one to decimal, let us simply divide 3 by 8. 3 divided by 8, that is 0. 0 times 8 is 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. Let us add decimal point and let us add 0. Let us bring down 0. 30 divided by 8, that is 3. 3 times 8, that is 24. 30 minus 24, that is 6. Let us add another 0. Let us have 0 here. 60 divided by 8, that is 7. 7 times 8, that is 56. 60 minus 56, that is 4. Let us add another 0. Let us bring down 0. 40 divided by 8, that is 5. And 5 times 8, that is 40. And this one is 0. So 3 over 8 in decimal, that is 0 0.375. And this will be our answer. On example number 9, Larry got 35 correct answer on the 50 item English test. What percent of the test did he answer correctly? Since Larry got 35 correct answer on the 50 item English test, let us write this one into fraction that is 35 over 50. 35 over 50 can be written in simplest form because they are divisible by 5. 35 divided by 5 that is 7. 50 divided by 5, that is 10. So to convert 7 over 10 into percentage, let us divide 7 by 10. 7 divided by 10, that is 0. 0 times 10 is 0. 7 minus 0 is 7. Let us add decimal point. Let us add 0. Let us bring down 0. 70 divided by 10, that is 7. 7 times 10 is 70. So therefore, 7 over 10, that is 0 0.7. And to convert 0 0.7 into percentage, let us move two decimal places to the right. 1, 2. So 0 0.7 in percentage, that is 70%. And this will be our answer. On our last example, there are 40 students in Ms. Sanchez's class. One day, 30 students were present in the class. What percent of students were absent in the class that day? Since Ms. Sanchez have 40 students and 30 students were present on that day, let us determine first the number of absent students on that particular day. So let us have 40 minus 30 and that is 10. So there are 10 absent students on that particular day. So to write this one in percentage, let us have 10 over 40, let us cancel the zero, it will give us one fourth. And one fourth in percentage, that is 25%. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.